Hi, I'm Chris Okersey, and I'm with the irrigation information website, smartirrigation.com, and today we're going to show you how to set Rainbird spray nozzles. Rainbird makes two types of spray nozzles, fixed pattern or variable arc. And if you need more information or help on how to select the right nozzle, check out our nozzle selection article at smartirrigation.com. We will leave a link in the description of this video for you. Here we have a fixed pattern Rainbird spray nozzle that needs adjusting. So you can either use your fingers to lift it up if you have good nails, or you can use a flathead screwdriver or a Rainbird adjustment tool. So we pull it up. You'll see here we have a 10H fixed pattern spray nozzle. And the 10 stands for the distance in feet it's supposed to shoot. And the H stands for the pattern. So that means half circle. And these marks here are the direction that the water shoots. So it's not gonna shoot this way, it's gonna shoot that way. Now that we have the stem pulled up, we can actually take a look at the components of the head. So you have the nozzle, you have the riser or stem, or you, and you have the body, spray body. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the nozzle is tight. So you go clockwise and you tighten it. Make sure you never try to set a head by loosening the nozzle. So you don't loosen it to set it like that. So make sure it's tight. We actually set it by turning on the stem or the riser. So we turn the stem and it'll have a ratcheting action if all goes well. And this is the direction that the water is going to shoot. So we're lined up straight with the driveway. When you're adjusting these, make sure that you don't use a tool that can scratch the stem because that will um, reduce the lifespan of your head by damaging the seal every time it goes up and down. So just don't use that. If you're having trouble, you can actually use some rubber gloves. And the best way is by hand like this to turn it. And then you'll be able to rough set the position that you want it to spray in. Now we'll have to turn the water on to fine tune it and adjust the distance of throw if needed. Now that the water's running, we can fine tune it by turning on the stem and it'll just be a little bit out. So it needed about one or two little clicks over to the right and now we got it perfectly 180 with the lawn and the driveway. Now if you need to reduce the distance of spray, you can use a flathead or a rainbird tool and you go clockwise on this adjustment screw in the middle and that will reduce the distance of throw on the spray. The nozzle is shooting the way it's made to at the factory, approximately 10 feet. Now if you turn it down too much, you start losing the quality of the spray and it won't be as even coverage. So it's better to select the right size nozzle than to turn it down or buy one that's too large and turn it down a lot. The droplets get pretty big. Now that we showed you how to set a fixed pattern Rainbird spray nozzle, let's show you how to set an adjustable. Here we have an adjustable arc nozzle by Rainbird. And the reason we chose adjustable arc is because the shape of the lawn we're trying to water here is not a 90 or it's not a 180. So having something that we can adjust variable any arc that we want is the best selection. Just like before, we're going to pull up the stem and we're going to check to see that the nozzle is tight. Now on the Rainbird adjustable nozzles, you have to be careful that you don't use this black dial to tighten with because that changes the arc. So we can either use this lower ring below it or we can use the top to tighten. So I'm going to tighten like this, making sure it's tight. 
Rainbird adjustable spray nozzles are left stop. That means you want to set the left stop first, the direction that it shoots to the left. Now you can tell by this notch where it's going to start shooting to the left. So we want to turn the stem, ratchet it over so that this is pointed in the direction you want it to shoot to the left. Now that we've set the left stop, we want to set the right stop. That's the direction that the water shoots to the farthest right on the spray head. So the easiest way to do that, because there's not clear markings on the Rainbird adjustable, is to do that when the water's actually running. And we will be turning this black collar here to adjust it in that direction to the right stop. Now that the water's on, we can actually set the right stop on this adjustable nozzle by turning on the black dial clockwise and put it in a line where you want it. And looks like we want to get the left a little over this way more. So I'm going to turn on the stem for that and then turn again on the dial to get the right to where we want it. Just like the fixed pattern spray, with the adjustable, you have an adjustment screw on the top to decrease the distance of throw by turning clockwise. So there you have it. Now you know how to set the Rainbird adjustable spray nozzle and the fixed pattern spray nozzle. And if you want more helpful tips, check out our website at smartirrigation.com and remember to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.